Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and play Karmic Dawn 2 on a modern Windows operating system. So without any further ado, let's start the video. First of all, I'm going to say that if you are using the soldered software version of the game, this fix is not for you. I'm going to fix the game for the original version released by Interplay. So we are going to start the video now. First of all, you have to open the setup.exe file of the game. But since the file is a 16-bit file, you cannot install the game directly. So there are two options for you. You can either copy the Karma folder to somewhere else so that the game installs directly or you can use another software known as OTVDM which will run 16-bit software on a 64-bit operating system. I will provide the link for OTVDM in the description from where you can download it. So after you have extracted the otvdm 0.7.0 zip file, you have to open the otvdmw.exe. From here, uh, go to the CD drive of the game. We have to go to the L drive and go to the setup uh, and open the setup exe. So you can see that the installation has started. Click on yes. So the setup has started, click on next button. We are going to install the game in my D drive. Click on next. If you want to know if you are using the soldered software version of the game, you have to see if your CD, uh, CD cover looks like this. If, you, if your CD cover looks like this, then the fix that I show in the video may not work for you. Also note that the auto run exe of the of the soldered software version of the game is also different. The auto run exe looks something like this. You will get play, install and exit button. Whereas in the original sorry, whereas in the original version of the game. So you can see that the uh, game is installed. You can install QuickTime 3.0 and but we have installed QuickTime 4.0 earlier. So we will be good to go with QuickTime 4.0 so we will click on no button now it will require DirectX 6 but we have already installed it so we will click on no again so this is actually a demo of different games so we don't need it so we will close it so installation is over so earlier I was saying that if you are using the soldered software version of the game, the setup, uh, sorry, the auto run will look something like this. Whereas the original version of the game will have the auto run look like this. There will only be two options. So we have successfully installed the game. Now let's try to run the game. Here we'll get the option for register now and register later. We'll register it later. So we'll click on the later button click on forfeit now we will be running the game with direct 3d so you get this option uh, sorry you get this error message sorry not supported on windows nt so in order to fix that you have to download a patch for support for windows nt operating systems So I am actually downloading the file from another website but uh, I will provide the link for the uh, file for uh, from my own media file server from which you can download the file easily. So after you have downloaded the file, extract the file to your game directory. So after you have extracted the file, we have to run the game again. We will run with direct 3D first. So you can see that direct 3D did not work in this game. So we will go with uh, 3DFS Glide this time. For 3DFS Glide, you can install nGlide software or you can use the Digivoodoo software.
so still now the glide files are not detected so we have to copy the uh, the control panel to the game directory we'll also change the resolution from here let's see if the game runs this time since the game is actually running on uh, windowed mode so i cannot click the mouse properly so i have to switch it to full screen mode first So video is working properly. If you still have problems in running the game with DigiVoodoo like I am here getting the uh, windowed mode problem, we have to configure the game to use uh, configure the game to use a higher resolution unfortunately I changed the resolution only for DirectX so I have to change the resolution for Glide 2 so here we will be disabling Glide Gamma Ramp as it is of no use here and we will also turn on anti-aliasing so now let's try again this time the game is on full screen can also get the sound so now let's start a race Five, four, three, two, so now let's race one, go. driving very badly in this game as I have not played it very much so we will be exiting the game here and we will be trying out uh, we will be trying out um, the direct 3d mode of the game The direct 3D mode is also working fine but the game has become, has slowed down. There may be some noticeable lags in the game but in race you do not see many slowdowns as you saw in the main menu. So directory remote may also seem fine for you. So directory mode is also working fine. So now let's see the last uh, software rendering mode. So actually software render is also not supported on this operating system because of uh, because of incompatibility with Windows NT at that time. So for software render you have to use an older uh, older software uh, software rendering exe file. I think the ones uh, provided by solder software may work for you. Let me try once.
So the original software renderer provided by uh, Solder Software works fine. So let's see if it works with the original game published by Interplay. So you can see that the software renderer also works fine if you use a different exe file. So you can see that the software render also worked fine for the Carmageddon uh, 2 game if you use the different exe file. I will provide the files for both hardware render and software render in the description and you can download it from there. So this is the end of the video guys. Thanks for watching the video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and as always stay tuned for more videos. Bye for now.